Realm Total War Remastered is coming April 29th, and Total War boomers like Melkor, Admiral Price, and myself are hyped. But what if you want some of that Rome 1 nostalgia in Rome 2 right now? Or what if you've never even played Rome 1 and you're curious what all the magic is all about? Well this video is for you, because today we got 7 mods that bring Rome 2 closer to Rome 1, including bringing population mechanics, 3D unit icons, major faction blobbing, and more. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you're planning on picking up Rome Remastered. A like on the video would be greatly appreciated, and let's begin. Number 7. Rome Total War Spacings Soldiers in Rome Total War stand apart from each other a good deal more than they do in Rome 2, which makes the formations appear larger and more spaced out. This mod attempts to match those spacings from the first game, which helps bring Rome 2 a bit closer to its 2004 prequel. Number 6. Nordo's Unit Icons Rome 2's icons are a love or hate type of deal. Personally, I like them and find them to be quite thematic, but we're trying to turn Rome 2 into Rome 1, so they've gotta go. This mod is a comprehensive do-over of every single unit icon in the game. That's over 2,000 distinct icons, guys. They're the closest we're going to get to Rome 1 style in Rome 2, and frankly, they look fantastic. Number 5. Rome Total War Faction Flags Conquering Gaul as the Julii or duking it out with the Seleucids as Egypt just wouldn't feel right without these classic faction icons. They've been ported over to Rome 2 in their original low-resolution glory. Hopefully we get a high-resolution version once Rome Remastered launches next month. In the meantime, though, this mod is a must-have if you're trying to match Rome 1 as closely as possible. Rome Total War Loading Screens This mod brings those legendary red and black silhouette backdrops from Rome 1 into Rome 2. I still think these are the best loading screens that CA has ever done. From the moment you load into the main menu with this mod enabled, that background gets you pumped to begin your conquests. Sanitation++ plus plus. One of the big mechanics present in Rome 1 but missing in Rome 2 is population. In Rome 2, settlement population is represented by an abstract growth resource, which works well in Warhammer and Attila to an extent, but feels half-baked in Rome 2. Once you max out all of the building slots in your settlements, growth becomes a completely meaningless stat for the rest of the game. Sanitation++ plus plus brings population into Rome 2, so each province now has a population comprised of four social classes and you have to draw from these social classes to recruit your units. The more population a city has, the stronger its economy will be, so you'll want to keep this in mind when you're creating your armies. Raising a settlement causes massive depopulation, as does having low public order, which means there's a serious opportunity cost to raising settlements and leaving your own open to attack. All in all, it's a fantastic mod that adds some much-needed depth to city management in Rome 2, and I highly recommend trying it out even if you aren't trying to make Rome 2 like Rome 1. Guaranteed Major Faction Empires One of the improvements Rome 2 made over its predecessor was breaking up the unrealistic conglomerate factions like Gaul and Britannia into several minor factions. The unfortunate downside to this, however, is that oftentimes the minor factions will destroy the major ones, leaving you without late game challenges. This mod forces major factions to always win their auto resolves against minor factions within the fog of war. Now you can look forward to having at least one or two major players at the end of your campaign, much like you could in Rome 1. I'm looking at you, Egypt. Number 2. Grand Campaign on Updated Map two turns per year. Though many people, including myself, prefer four turns per year, Rome 1 was two turns per year, summer and winter. This mod requires almost no explanation. Your generals and agents will live twice as long as they do in vanilla, which is how it should have been in the first place, frankly. Campaigns feel so much better paced with the extended turns per year mods, and I'll never understand why CA never addressed this for the grand campaign. As an added bonus, this mod uses the superior campaign map from Imperator Augustus, meaning that the Syracuse has walls just like it does in Rome 1. Before we get to number 1, I want to give a quick honorable mention to the mod Familiae Romanae Roman Houses, which splits Rome into three distinct factions, the Julii, the Brutii, and the Scipii, just like in Rome 1. This mod would have been the number 2 spot, but it has a pretty frustrating bug that causes your characters' wives to constantly die prematurely. 
Other than that, it works perfectly. So if you can deal with that bug, then this mod is definitely worth checking out, especially if you're into co-op campaigns. Number one, Rome Total War Music. Sound design is just as important, and oftentimes even more so than visuals in a game, and this mod is a perfect example of that fact. Rome 1's soundtrack is absolutely legendary, and having it in Rome 2 is an immediate improvement. No offense to composer Richard Beto, he's done some amazing work on Warhammer, Napoleon, and Attila, but his Rome 2 soundtrack just can't compete with Jeff Van Dyke's score for Rome 1. In truth, few strategy game soundtracks can. Just take a listen for yourself. Sons of Mars! General! We hunger for battle. I want hourly patrols. Hit them hard! With these mods, you'll be able to relive some of that Rome 1 nostalgia until Rome Remastered releases, and once it does, expect lots of content on the channel about it. The game's launching with Steam Workshop support, and the modding potential is going to be huge. As always, if you enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel for more Total War content just like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.